key stats that he has. Like it's based on a number. It's yeah, usually ELO. like the twelve hundred. Yeah, the ELO. Like I don't know how that's, but yeah, you know. Or we could do it uh, Champions League style. Put every team's name in a little ball, and then have like a first day, the media day, and then you <laughs> pull the teams out and e home. And, and then, the, like and then the camera pans to the owners of IG or like whoever it is. <laughs> yeah, the owners. Yeah. And, yeah. and they, all, they all look at each other and they go. <laughs> Shake hands. <Yeah. laughs> it's very awkward. I and we all sing the Champions League theme song. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, OGA Dota Pit theme song. So guess what CDEC banned first too, by the way? Uh, the Viper Puck. Yeah, guess I'm not what guessing. I can see it. <laughs> Guess what they want to pick? I can actually see it. Uh, yeah, like yeah. You banned Puck Ooh. Viper. You're like, oh my god. They're the two yeah. heroes that beat Queen of Pain. I think we might pick Queen of Pain. Yeah, I was gonna guess, but uh, it froze on the bottom for us. I think. Oh. <laughs> well, so I was just gonna be like, oh, Queen of Pain after it got picked. Oh no, production. Just uh. Sure. Pretend those heroes are here, or everybody, we'll do a, a learning experience. Close your eyes. We'll have to role we'll play. We'll just, so. yeah, we'll ASMR it into your brains. And ooh, <laughs> Nick's assassin. This is a hero we were talking about um, a lot. In that we weren't seeing it. Um, the, the some of the combinations, like it feels like it's one of those heroes that you pick the combo first. You don't want to wait on it. And they go Earthshaker, which was banned first phase in both games in the previous series. But Kaka is the main Nyx Assassin player here for IG. Plays it very well. Um, I'm excited because he's very good on this hero. But at the same time, CDC, they go Queen of Pain as well as the Earthshaker. And it's like, oh, well, that's right. CDC have James who plays the four out of his gourd as well. Yeah. Uh, I really like this pick. I honestly thought they were going to pick Rubik. Because I thought James played that insanely well. It's good against Nyx as well, but I mm-hmm. think Shaker, you know, we've we've seen this so much this tournament. It gets banned or picked. I feel like like ninety percent of games or so. Oh, okay. I like that. Hmm. It's okay. <laughs> I feel like they don't really punish Shaker very hard. Like his Oracle's not a great zoning support hero either, right? I mean, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Like you hit level three, and you can actually do damage and things. But yeah. I feel like in Pure the early stages hurts. now, like whichever offlane that they pick on C deck, I think this shaker, yeah, it doesn't really get punished. And then in the mid game, like obviously Nyx is annoying, but I don't know. They yeah, they actually have reach and catch for the Oracle as well. So I, I am surprised. Like it's not a bad pick, especially against Queen of Pain in general. But I like C deck's opening more. I think, you, um, I think you ban Nature's yeah. Prophet as well. I think if you're... Uh, that was ignored in the previous series, I think, completely, right? Yeah. If, you, if you're IG, you take that out. Because I think it um, pairs up really well with the Earthshaker. It's just a strong laner in general as well. And Oracle can't hmm. really bully it out because of the trees. Like it, It's really difficult. Okay, it was banned in the first game. But that was it. <laughs> Fair enough. Ha- has to be said, though. Phoenix, where are you at? Back-to-back games ignored. Maybe. I mean, CDC could still go for it, but it would be a five Phoenix, right? Yeah, I mean, IG do play Phoenix, right? Like it's not like it's uh, unheard of. I mean, but yeah, mm-hmm. I think they just really like this Nyx Assassin whenever it gets let through. Like Kaka loves this here, and it's good against uh, Queen of Pain as well. Because we see different bands this game, like it, uh, like a lot of these fours that tend to get banned out, like Shaker and stuff, and the Queen of Pain that tends to get banned as well. Just uh, you know, it changes up the first phase draft. So that if, if Phoenix isn't first phase, it tends not to be picked at all, does it really? Hmm. Mars for JT? I don't know. Never mind. Just got banned. There goes the morphing. I was gonna try and be early on that prediction. <laughs> bit late on uh seeing it get banned though um because I'm, I'm trying to think like jt kind of heroes because he's i don't want to say the most important pick on this one i hope you just all enjoyed my sneeze by the way i did mute my mic but no i, w- I didn't hear some, it. you would no, you would have got some visual representation there though i'm sure <laughs> um unless it went through on the vmix i didn't hear it but i muted my mic it's fine 
on both oh, oh well over. the mic has a, yeah, a the mute mic function yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah see i don't have that so every time i go to sneeze i have to mute vmix and discord yeah, like six different things all at once <laughs> you're like <laughs> it's very very stressful <laughs> Um, Adrian, sorry about the sneeze Adrian talk. didn't say bless you to me either. I feel really bad now. I don't even care. <laughs> oh, man. Ogre Magi gets banned by IG. We were talking about that as support as well, because I, I, it's a very strong kind of just run at you, no care in the world. Uh, you know, seven armor early on kind of support. Mm -hmm. There's Void Spirit. Okay, so Void Spirit, that's not a JT hero in my eyes. Um, Emo's probably playing that. Uh, more likely than not. Hmm. I wonder what they want as their five, though. Here. I imagine they're going to pick their five. I mean, they could pick like Ember or something if they really want. Oh, Ember's banned, sorry. And there's the bane. See, I, I thought, I, like but, like, I don't know how much I like it versus Nick's Oracle. That's true. Like, I it's it's okay. But they do just like it on C deck, don't they, this hero? They are. Mm -hmm. They're big bane fans. Hmm. Uh, let's see. What is JT been playing? Just putting in a Dota buff right now. I still like Nature's Profit for both these teams, though. Oh. Okay. Okay. TB coming out again. We're going to see him in three straight games. I mean, TB Oracle. It's a yeah. classic, isn't it? Doesn't get much uh, better than that. At least in Dota Pit, JT's been on ABBA, Legion, Axe, DK, Quap, Dazzle, Tide, Centaur. And what? he hasn't played a, a second hero, or, a, or hasn't played a hero twice yet. So the options are open. Naga Siren coming in for Ame for CDC. I don't mind this. I think this is okay. Um, it's not a free Naga game, mm -hmm. but they don't really have great illusion clear on IG. So I think it's it's pretty good. They need... Uh, the good thing for IG is at least they can last pick the hero that they want to lane up against the Naga here. Like, yeah, I think this is okay. And yeah, they're just going to ban out two heroes though that on C deck now that are good against the Naga in the lane. This is, it, It's so weird, like... It feels like every time all these core, like teams have been last picking their cores, which you tend to do in drafts, but like everything they want just gets banned out in the last phase now. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. crazy. I'd like to see them pick up um, some like some kind of illusion clear on CD, but I don't know what that would be from the off lane. And it, they, they can't really pressure the Naga because they have a Nyx Assassin as well. It, it's a really tough pick. Do you throw the Nyx I mean, Assassin sh 3? Like, would that no. even open up enough for you? No. Like, Veno's not good either. Maybe, like, Darkseer is okay? Hmm. Darkseer sounds really fun, actually, for IG. <laughs> he said that last time, too, I, uh, when you were going Darkseer. Yeah. Like, it, it sounds like an amazing hero. And then, what, what did they end up going? It was something, like, super standard. Like, the heroes don't deal well with it. Mm. And it's really good with Nyx. It's really good with TV. Yeah. Dude, they banned Ooh, Doom. It might Doom. actually be Dark, sir. Like, I'm not joking. <laughs> Whoa. All right. I, I'm Please. impressed. Please. CDC just pick it from them right yeah. now. <laughs> Helm of Dom's a decent item. Like, It's still decent, yeah. I don't think it's that awful. Could they go Beastmaster? On IG or C deck? Either, honestly. I don't think it's good on C deck. It's really hard to play against Oracle. Like, it's not mm -hmm. awful. Um, I think they need a little bit more team fight, though, on C deck. Uh, some, it's Mar yeah, Mars is banned. I can see them picking something like Centaur, but it's not great against Oracle in lane because the Oracle purges off the Retaliate charges. Yeah. Bat Rider's already banned. Uh, they, is they could put Queen of Pain off lane as well, remember her, and pick a different mid laner. Wait, Bat isn't banned. Yeah, it's into Oracle though as well. I just like, it's yeah. Not... Well, IG. 
Let me go Bat Rider. Oh, please. You have no idea how much I want this. We haven't seen this hero yet. Like, Dark Sears so far, this competition either. It's a really good TV game, though. Have we not? I don't think we have. I think you're right. I was just looking at the list. Might as well, right? It's probably worse, though, because creep skipping's not as good, actually. I haven't. I mean, I haven't seen it this patch. I don't know, but it, you have to actually yeah. play the lane. Like, you can't just sit behind the tier two with Iron Shell. <laughs> you're playing against a Bane anyway, who's just going to nightmare you. Hmm. What's left? I mean, Bat Rider, Legion. It's an okay bat game for them. I wouldn't mind Bat what Rider. Else? Bat Rider Nick sounds decent. Certainly can line up pretty well. Fendetta please, Impel. Pete, please. In a lasso. I don't. It doesn't have to be good. I just want to see it. <laughs> it's really good. I'll go Bat Rider as well. Like. You're on Dorks. You're on Mom Bat Rider. Okay. Boo! Neither of us are right. You know, we don't get paid the big bucks. We get paid the moderate bucks. So we're going to make moderate predictions. I think they're more worried. Yeah. I think they're more worried about this Naga, though, like more than anything. And because I think they're worried that, you know, if we don't have a way of dealing with this Naga hero, then I don't know how we win mm -hmm. this game. Yeah. So, like, they, they go for the hard wave player in the Lesh Rack. And it's like a decent Lesh game overall, but JT Void Spirit's going to be interesting. And a Void Spirit Nick sounds like oh. a pretty rubbish lane. Like, wow. it's okay, but I think Naga just free farms. Yeah, Emo's on the list track. I didn't even think about that because I had said earlier in the draft that I was like, definitely Emo Void Spirit, because <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. It's not really a JT kind of hero. Like, I can just see it happening that uh, this Earthshaker rotates mid with XM on this Queen of Pain as well, and they just kill the Lesh, like, a, a couple of mm -hmm. times or so. Is it a good Underlord game? It's pretty good. Like, I don't know what they do to him in the laning stage. This is what I was saying about the Oracle. Like, you pick this so early on. Like, what's what's the Oracle going to do? Right-click Underlord? It doesn't yeah. happen. Like, yeah. So, JT played Void Spirit once. It's uh, another reason I didn't think he was going to get this hero. And it was against Keen Gaming. They won. He ended up going uh, one and a half, eight and 12. How does that make sense? What? That doesn't make sense at all. Who knows? <laughs> how, do you, how do you get a kill and a half? Uh, he actually went three, six and 21. I guess that was their average for the series. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, that makes sense. Oh. <laughs> all right. Way more sense. Prepare I'm just dumb. <laughs> Um, okay. So I guess we'll see uh, how this goes for him. His second professional game on this hero. Should be a fun one. I feel like this Naga pick shouldn't have been too much of a shock to them, though. Like, Armour's been playing this, this kind of hero all tournament, right? Well, that's when the C deck have looked best, at least. When he's on these, like, TB's Nagas, I think. Yeah. I would say he's looked not great on, like, Spectre. I think Spectre's okay. I really liked the Meteor Hammer yesterday. That was fun. Yeah. Well, yeah, yesterday he looked good on it. But overall, he hasn't really what, looked amazing. What did he play in the other game yesterday? Was it Ursa? I can't remember. 30 seconds to battle. Um, It ended up being uh, Weaver. Weaver. Yeah, that was it. But they also had XM, who destroyed on that. TA. Mm hmm. A fly fly's gonna try and nab a rune here on the Terror Blade. But uh, they see him. Oh, and he didn't take meta at one. Yo, is this. I don't think this is good. And he took Conjure Image, and now the Fissure hits on a, both of them. Oh, SRF blocked, gets though. the Bounty <laughs> Rune, and yeah, he can't get over to the Fortune's End on SRF, oh. so. Both Bounty Runes go the way of. Uh, CDC on that. He's gonna take a lot of damage now from this Oracle. He has like he has to purge up again the fortune's end in one second. Like <laughs> they can keep chasing him here. Alright. Can they body block him? Oh my god, there's no way, surely. Yeah, it does. And he He's just got have to get a in three either. seconds. Like this does is really bad. Oh my god. God, 
Could you imagine that purged your tango? <laughs> oh, that would be so insanely OP. Like, oh my god. Tango's com are dispellable now, guys. <laughs> you're just like, ah, I'm healing. Fortune's end. No, you're not. All right. That's cool. So XM, uh, similar situation to nothing to say. I think uh, Amid still trying to prove himself, but high ranked overall, so very respected within the region. Nothing to say number two, XM number one, going up against Emo, who I guess has proven himself in the past. He's certainly played really well mm -hmm. uh, since kind of shining on the scene. Um, if you don't know, he's also half, uh, or his name used to be half, now it's Emo. Played with IG Vitality for a while, and uh, has been playing with IG this since 2018. So, Ooh, good stun from Emo. And as well, and top lane as well. Mike at the kill, first blood on XM. Emo, man, that was beautiful. I completely missed that because I was watching top lane at the same time in case there was another kill. But uh, Ollie just manages to salve up when he got to about 50 HP. God, that was. Really nice, and he caught him on the edge of that stun, too. So, the null talisman changer, are we going to see Emo just stack up on nulls? No, I think he'll go double null. He might go null bracer as well, I'm not sure, but... Mm -hmm. um, I've been really interested to see this uh, bloodstone on the new lesh... The, sorry, the new, <laughs> the new bloodstone on the lesh rack. Oh. So... Emo, obviously, here to try and counter the illusions of the Naga Siren on the Lushrak. Um, which, I think we had a situation or two throughout the last couple of days talking about how, you know, Lushrak didn't feel great even though he was a counter to Naga. Like, mm -hmm. we've seen Naga get picked a couple of times. But, I, was that pre item changes? I, I think that's just. Well, yeah, I think so. It was pre-item changes, but I don't think it's been like it's not a massive change to the Bloodstone. It gives like mm -hmm. magic resistance and stuff, and like a uh, spell life steal amp as well. So like I think if this less track ever gets to like Octarine Bloodstone, I'd love to see it. Yeah, I'm very excited. Emo's really struggling with last that he made as well. I'm. Radiant is he TPing back to base? Oh my god. Dyer's Look at all five heroes on IG. How well they're, they were sitting for a split second. I'm surprised Shaker hasn't made a move <clears throat> over mid, though. Yeah, same. Uh, I really thought he would have by now. Because I feel like this underdog doesn't need a huge amount of help. And. Well, I say yeah. that. I mean, he has regular health now as well. Like, he's absolutely fine. So, yeah, he's going to start heading over now to secure the four minute rune. And this is going to be his rotation timing. Bot lane is on Nightmare. He's gone. JT gets killed. This is setting up pretty well for CDC. I think they could take better advantage if they were to come over towards mid and get that Earthshaker here. But now XM's the one who's hit by the no first on And a second. XM. He ends up dead. And Earthshaker and Bane are just late to the party. Yeah, that is... Uh, is Bane dead? Not what CDC want in this situation. I think Victoria's gone too. Yeah. Oh my so, god. I mean, this Lesh Rack wasn't CSing well at all mid, but like, yeah. he's just 3 0 0. Like, he has 10 CS in four minutes. But it just doesn't matter. <laughs> this is insane. Not be giving that up. And we talk about Lesh have a really good time, though. If you change to an early uh, quick net worth chart, I don't know if production can, but like, this, this Narc is just so far ahead. Like, she's 300 ahead of everybody else in the game already. At like four minutes in, so like because there's been so many of these early kills. Like, look at the Queen of Pain's net worth. Like she's done really well in terms of CS, but because she's died twice, it, it's pretty rough. So two null talismans for emo in a bottle. Come on, just go four null talismans. No, no, don't ever do that, please. <laughs> <laughs> if Skyrath's not going to do that, then emo's definitely not doing it on Lesh. Well, he needed that X. Uh oh, Victoria is uh, in trouble because now he can't walk down. He'll go right towards JT. And we'll... Okay, I thought JT would have a bit more to say on that one. I mean, the level three void spritz. Uh, yeah, a little bit underwhelming. Uh, <clears throat> James, he just threw the fissure. 
He's just chilling, dude. I mean, he, yeah, I guess, but he just threw the fissure like it was almost with no intent. Did he cancel even, a bottle charge? Uh, was that the? That didn't do anything. It didn't even. It didn't hit. Uh, oh. it didn't hit Kaka. It didn't hit Maybe anybody. he's trying to pretend that they have vision on that side of the map. Like they don't have vision. I mean, it's the long con. They put the oh, ward God. down. He's like, I'm just gonna throw a blind fissure and miss, so it makes Ooh. it look like we don't have a ward. That impale was short. Usually just the story of my life, as I am a very short person. Oh dear. I'm actually not that short anymore. Was supposed to be though. Well, did you just suddenly grow last night? No, I took a HGH a, as a high schooler. I was supposed to be like That's four H foot. I don't know what that is. Human growth hormones. Oh right, okay. Oh, fight, fight again. Oh, oh. He missed the fisher. <laughs> oh my. God. Jeez, we hyped you up all day. What is going on? Come on, James. I've said nice things about you. Ollie might be in trouble here, though. He has tranquils. Uh, he has boots. Sorry, on the Earthshaker, and Oracle doesn't have any. It's Fisher and one. Point blank Fisher. Yeah, there it is. There you go. They should get this kill on the Ollie, and they won. What insane player, actually, James. It's crazy. <laughs> what a Fisher. Uh, a knee slapper, man. <laughs> They get the D ward mid as well, which is really nice. I think Kaka's just sitting mid and spamming, spamming mana burn whenever he can, like over and over. Villainy. Oh, you XM. Ooh. All right. You hit that stun Ooh. though, and you've got both. I am so worried for IG though that this Naga is absolutely free farming. Like, the net worth is not close. And I go, I know it's not free Naga because of the less track and stuff, but Jesus, like. Arme is having such a nice start to this game. <laughs> you know who's not having a nice start to this game, though? It's XM. Emo does end up getting uh, killed in return, which I think is at least something there for CDEC. Mm -hmm. But still, Queen of Pain dead three times already. God. Although, eh, Arme is securing a lot of farm. I think I think just think Arme having a good time on this, uh, on this Naga is so, like... A game winning for, for CDC. Yeah. I'm worried about XM a little bit, but it's Queen of Pain, right? Like, it, this hero's always going to do things. And they give her the Ollie. kill. Yeah, give her some of the kill. Sunder comes out from Flyfly up top. Emo trying to chase. They've got the slow on SRF. Pulse Nova, and the damage is there. Flyfly will get credit for that kill, and they are going to uh, back off for a second, or at least Emo will. Flyfly's like, dude, where's my wave gone? Where's my farm? Hello? He could have a wave if he got Axe. Because then he he's has like, oh, dude. Terra Wave. And he's like, oh, I'll just go and farm the big camp. And Emo's like, uh. <laughs> I don't know what, what you're talking about. There was never a big camp here. Did you read the changes? <laughs> yeah, it got moved to somewhere else. <laughs> they don't spawn till nine minutes. Oh, stacks here. Stacks on stacks. Uh, really important when you have less track that you're making these stacks. Yeah, it was important too that the uh, Oracle actually TP'd over to the outpost to refill this bottle for Emo. Yeah, you know, just sure. a little bit of efficiency there. Ame, oh, he's moved into the jungle as well. And a, a bit different from the Naga Siren game we saw yesterday where it was uh, the early song that was forced out. And he's gotten the opportunity to be you know, not bothered, 404, happy with everything, farming the jungle. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see the Naga rotate top, actually, and try and force this tower down with, you know, pairing it with the Underlord. I know he kind of just wants to farm, which is fine, but I'd really like to see him start playing top side of the map. Yeah, TB's going to TP bot. I, I think Naga should be playing top here. God, he's almost into this Yasha. Actually, yeah, he's got enough for the Yasha. The farm is so good for Ame. Maybe they just feel like they don't even need the Naga to push the tower. Like, SRF's just able to freely click this. I'm surprised. But, like, Naga's a thousand gold ahead of everybody in the game. It's just mental. Dyer's top tower. Like, she trying to save for that ultimate orb first? I'm pretty sure you'd never do this. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I was going to ask you the same thing because she had no, the gold. Go. Okay, yeah. That was odd. I watched that. I'm like, oh, he's got 1600 gold. You're good. 
Look at Kaka though. Stalking. Or also known in the Nyx world. Nyx, 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 Nyx. I hope he cancels the clarity instantly from Naga. Nothing would make me happier. Is Vendetta still got a fourth on it? Top tower has fallen. Did you say a f who says a fourth? I don't know, me? Is that an American thing? It's I feel like a fourth. fourth you say a quarter. You say a quarter, you never say a fourth. Yo, chat, is that me? Is a fourth <laughs> yeah, a that, thing? Does, does anybody dude. say that? Or is B Cop just insane? Production thoughts? Yeah. Structures are fortified. It's definitely Radiant a fourth. Are it's not a fourth. It's water. Fourth Radiant's of a cup. Bottom tower is under attack. Yo, I'm not happy. I might just quit. <laughs> Call it a day. Radiance bottom tower has Get that fallen. bottom tier one. Firefly's doing okay, but he's not accelerating the way Ame is Mid? at the moment. Yeah, take James. a look. Ooh, can they get the kill? Echo slam! And oh wow, the fissure. Is it gonna be two? Emo on the run, Sonic Wave, and they'll get the kill. James, man, he's dead, but certainly makes his life well worth. I think if that creep wave isn't there, the rotation's fine by Emo and uh, Kaka, but... but the fact that they're just sitting under a creep wave with Echo Slam, probably not going to end well. Like, he tried to pop Carapace, but it's still level one. So, because it, it's so many small instances, Echo Slam, right? Like, it's not like a big one. So, only it, like it's a level one Carapace stun. And like a small amount of echo damage, which I think it's the initial one is like hardly anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like 70 damage. So Shaker just doesn't die for ages. Really well played by James. So saving up for that ulti orb. 400 like gold away. God damn, man. Ame is on one. I don't care what happens in this game. I'm waiting for chat to catch up for the quarter and fourth thing. Like, <laughs> Production gave us a, uh, <laughs> a non-sided answer. Both of them giving the same answer, by the way. I was very impressed. <laughs> Team Void Spirit's item build, by the way, as well. He's going uh, Death So. Which I'm is down. interesting. Down to see something new. Yeah, I don't know how much I'd like that, but... To be it's... fair, like, they're only down a thousand net worth. Underworld doesn't have much. Yeah, look at the Naga, though. Yeah, yeah that's gonna be an issue. You know, she's gonna have Manta soon, and then her farm speed's gonna increase massively. TB's gonna come and play towards the triangle. Makes sense. He has meta up. Might stack an Ancient Camp here, potentially. I think he just picked up his Yasha. Yeah, he did. Oh, he went mana regen on the Void Spirit, but he's going Deso. Wait, what? What? I mean, the mana regen is nice. Like, and it just allows you to stay on map, right? And he hasn't built any mana regen items. Like, he hasn't gone Yules first or anything. But, yeah. Unsure. I guess 15 damage isn't very much. 2.5 mana region is quite a lot. Hmm. Yeah, 2.5. Uh, yeah, you know what? Just I questioned it at the beginning. It. Yeah. I'm down with it. Underlord has Wait. Hood Vanguard now as well. He's super tanky. Yeah, and even though he's probably going to go behind this Void Spirit, but it's not a similar Terror build blade. between either of them. Yeah, oh god. The Orchid Burn will take him out. And uh, XM gets the kill on a Fly Fly, and Fly Fly is just trying to go over bottom to get a little bit more farm. Yeah, massive kill. The biggest thing on the map you can find at the moment. Like, I think the TB kill is still bigger than the Lesh, and it probably will be all the time. And they Lesh? get a Bane. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, do they? Song comes in from Ame, and it doesn't look like he's going for the TP out just yet. They're trying to set up on this. They've got XM without Sonic Wave. Impale hits onto the Nagasarian, but there's the Fiend script that'll hit Kaka, so they'll get themselves a second kill. That's on the Nyx Assassin. The chase is on. The Pit of Malice is there. They'll lock up the Oracle, although the chase continues on with the blink forward from XM. And ooh, Shadow Strike out onto Emo. Oh, Good false promise. And maybe this helps turn this thing around, turns things around because they kill off Ami. 
Demo will end up dead, oh, being dead no. afterwards. If they get out, and man. Uh, Victoria and SF, huh? they're going to leave Victoria. No, uh, Uber just hops back in. <laughs> he, like, started to drive off with the door open. He's like, oh, no, hang on. <laughs> the debate has started in chat, by the way. People say fourth. I know, like, loads of other people are saying core. Guys, both don't work. <laughs> I like this is like a really long conversation because there's like a massive gap in between us both saying it. But like, who says a fourth? I know they're technically both right, but nobody says a fourth. Oh. oh my god. Maybe that's an American thing. I don't know. I have tears. Yeah, I agree with that guy. Both work, but let's make someone feel like they're wrong. That's This guy gets it. Like, That's my friend Alex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. She's the best. <laughs> oh, Echo. Fly Fly just gets destroyed. Dude, Fly Fly's having such a rough game. Oh, back to back deaths like that. He just gets blown out of the water. <laughs> it's, it's like 17 minutes. He doesn't have Manta yet. I feel like we saw like Manta Scardi last game from the TV in like 18, 19 maybe. He is not having a fun time. CDC, man, I'm happy to see it. And it's not over yet. Obviously, anything can happen, but Ame, uh, this is prime time Ame. So Deso ags for Void Spirit. Dyer's top okay. Is under attack. I mean, the Deso amps the TB's damage massively, which is nice, but. Mm. And I guess they don't have great armor on the radiant side. Like, Ame does, obviously, on the Naga, but. Like, all the other heroes do. Oh like melt if they get hit by this Deso prop. Nether Shawl, Pupil's Gift, so Nether Shawl to Emo, right? Ah, uh, yeah, I would assume so. That's really good. Or apparently to the Nyx Assassin. He's grabbing it. Oh, okay. I mean, it's really good with the Mana Burn as well, where he starts to level that up, but... So, this is interesting, like, so this Kaya got changed, right, in the Dyer's big patch, is which is, uh, so it doesn't give you the mana loss reduction anymore, mm -hmm. so, like, on Storm and stuff, I think this is why we haven't seen Storm at all, like, it feels so bad now. But, uh, oh, hang on, Kaka's just dead. Now that Shaw's not going to save you there, buddy. Um, but yeah, it gives it's actually you more... now going to the Shrek. Yeah, Sorry. but it gives you more mana regen now, because it gives you the amplification, and it gives you the, the spell life still, obviously, still, which is really nice. So, like, it, I think it makes you tankier overall, but, like, you don't get as much farm from it. I think that that's probably the way to look at it. But it's amping up this clarity. Hell yeah. And actually, instead, they got Vampire Fangs coming out to Emo, which he's picked oh, okay. up. And that gives yeah. you Lifesteal and Spell Lifesteal and the Night Vision, which is nice. Oh, my God. The Spell Lifesteal amp? Jesus. So, it's gone from 6% to, like, 7.5%. Jesus. Uh, mid <laughs> Sorry. Now, in a lot of trouble, JT gets the kill there. He's helping out with that Deso and soon to have that Ag. Or, well, not soon to have that Ag. He's only a component in, but our component's amount of gold. But Fly Fly is there with the Metamorphosis, and they're going to try and take the Tier 1 tower out. So maybe this is an opportunity for IG to close down the available farming spots for CDC. Yeah. I actually think, considering how, much, how many times the TB's died, the fact he only has two deaths is... Uh, sorry, the fact he's only 2,000 gold behind the Naga is actually pretty good. Like, uh, Fly Fly's farming relatively well, considering. Radio or maybe yeah. Arme's just not farming as much as he potentially could. But it was also back-to-back -back deaths. Like, it, I, I... I don't know. He's, he's been given a good amount of time. Mm -hmm. That being said, Naga Siren's got the Mantis style and two ulti orbs uh, available. Or, well, has yeah. the gold for another ulti orb for a Skadi coming in. Like, I just like that Ami's not using the Manta to farm more. Like, the active. Uh, Orchid. Orchid. She gets oh, a skill on Nakaka. Blink forward. James. Echo Slam committed on the JT. Now the Pit of Mouse comes in. Sonic Wave a blow up too. That was sick from C-Deck, actually. They timed it so that, like, because he didn't have Enchant Totem anymore, he used the Echo, and it's set up for the level 4 Pit of Malice, which then allowed him to get the Enchant Totem back online again. Mm -hmm. Really well played. Yeah, they can just head into the Roche pit now. I think that he might end up buying back on the Void Strip potentially. Because I think they, I don't think they can let this go for free. But TB doesn't have meta for 60, so maybe they just feel like they can't get into the pit. 
and contest. It looks like it's going to be free. But that wow. ends up being massive for uh, for Naga Siren. Like, Ame is just going to continue to now have this Aegis, continue to accelerate. Like, uh, it, it, he's almost got Scardy as well. Yeah. Radiance so I wonder how this works with the Oracle attack. ult, the new Scardy. Because it reduces healing and stuff. So I assume it just reduces the amount of healing that would have been at the end of the Oracle ult by... Is, is it 25%, I think? Uh, let's... Yeah. Oh no, that's Shiva's, isn't it? Sorry, not Scardy. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, For some reason that, I got the mix up. I, I got... I just got them mixed up really hard in my head. Because they removed yeah. it from Scardi, didn't they? And they put it onto Shiva's instead. And somebody was asking... In, no, no, it does. In, hang on, no, no. It reduces health, health regen by 40%. Sorry. I am right. And it was increased, the uh, heal reduction. Oh, God, Victoria going down. I was going to say, uh, yeah, speaking of Shiva, somebody was asking about it in the previous game. Because we didn't talk about it before. Yeah. Radiant structures. I mean, Achievers is a good item in general now. I think like in, it's better in the late game. Oh, the song. Oh, it's song no flying back here. Echo, but they've got the Pit of Malice, so they're going to bring the Bane and they hit the Fissure onto the TB. They look over at this Oracle, so they get the kill on the Ollie, but now Bloodstone's used. Look at this Emo nest, trying to survive and just everybody around him. It's an easy Can kill. Can they catch Fly Fly? TP. All oh, the sleep. They got him. And with the Sonic Wave, nice. that'll make it a third! And James is almost just dead to illusions, but he just about survives. What a guy. Yeah, the, I mean, that's an insanely good fight. Like, the, the buyback from the Bane as well just secures that, right? Like, they, they managed to get the TB kill because of it. Um, but, yeah, very well played by Army, finding that initiation. And they're going to find Kak on the Nyx as well. God, they are just going Ooh, one after the next. Yeah, Kaka, the boss play here is to run through the pit and find the James Earthshaker. Dyer's That's bottom the... tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Does he have the Scuddy yet? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah, so if we, I, I wonder if, like, I haven't seen this, I haven't checked how this worked before. Like, I assume, because the Oracle adds all the healing on at the end. So mm -hmm. I guess that if, if they're affected by Scuddy at the end of the Oracle, their healing just gets reduced by 40%, would be my assumption. That's massive. Which, which is crazy. Like, But I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm probably wrong, let's be honest. Like, Well, you were saying they took it off of Sc off Scotty. But we, for <laughs> we forgive you, right, Jack? Come on. As if Twitch chat are ever going to forgive anybody. Attack. Don't attack like, them like, like that. you for saying a fourth. That's the... Ali false promises himself, and he ends up dead to Ame. So another kill there for CDC, and it th I thought with the mid tower taken by IG it would help alleviate the pressure that CDC were putting on, and maybe allow them to do the same to them. But instead, again with this Aegis and with this advantage that the Nagasaren has, and now not even just the Nagasaren, Queen of Pain is caught up to the Nagasaren almost. Mm -hmm. I mean, Naga's like 3,500 gold ahead of the TB now. Yeah. Like, so that, they took the Roche, they took that really good fight. And it just buys him so much time. I really don't know what this Void Spirit's been doing this game, though. Like, I, I don't know, not like any flame on JT, but I don't know what it's supposed to do. It felt like they were in a really rough last pick overall in their draft where they had to deal with the Naga. So the Void Spirit gets, Void Spirit gets shoved to the off lane. But I would have really liked to have seen an Ags on JT, I think. Like, this I mean, he was, not bad, he was but... going for it. I don't know why he swapped out, but he Impel, needs to beat mana burn. Me. And good job the Fortune's end that follows up JT going and jumping on a Victoria, but they just don't have the damage to get the kill. Oh, the Echo Slam is used, that was within the song. the song. So it doesn't do anything, and now they've got the Pit of Malice down as well as the Totem coming through. Fiend's Grip hits on the JT, they'll get the kill on the Void Spirit, they'll look for more, they'll take out Ollie. Oracle Dyer's gone, Kaka on the run. Ame, can he catch him? Dyer's Blink, Fissure, nice. he lands. And well done by the Earthshaker of James. Make sure that they can get the control here on the Nyx Assassin and grab a kill. And with that, you have you called the Uber? Because uh, let's go top. Wait, they... Why have they all just Dark Rifted top? Oh, I guess TV's cutting the wave. Okay, there was... Yeah, there's no way for them to use bot. So they're going to try and take the top tier too. I assume. 
Yeah, yeah they, get, they manage to song and slam at the same time. They still win the team fight massively. Like, if that doesn't show you how far ahead they are, then I don't know what will. Yeah. And but again, like the voice where it just dies, like he gets gripped and just bursted down straight away. This, uh, I didn't think it was an easy Bane game, but playing it very well. Fly, fly. Those back-to-back -back deaths really, really just slowed his game down to the point where I, I just think Naga takes over too much for him to have a chance to come back. Oh dear, JT again. Yeah, he's gonna drop. So does Ollie. And Naga low, but I mean they've got there's no Aegis, but like Lesh is just losing all his they're gonna, they're gonna the kill a, Yeah, they're gonna kill a, at least one of the Knicks and the oh, track the TV's thing. Here, though. Good fissure. They're still looking at Victoria and they've got the Bane, but nothing more. Oh, good pair. That's a really nice pit from SRF there to just break up the fight. Yeah. And they get the buyback from Ollie as well on this Oracle. I'm surprised uh, they didn't end up getting the Nyxer that was Shrek, but they thought about retreating from that fight once the TB came in. Do want to risk it. Top tower is under attack. Right now, 9k lead. It's in where it's been for the last couple of minutes or so. Scotty now picked up for the Terrible. He doesn't have metamorphosis for 100 seconds, 1200 gold into the next item. What is next for the TB? I think he has to go MKB because he's going to see that the Naga's got Butterfly. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, I don't know how they have... I mean, they can kill the Naga because of the Lesh, right? But Lesh doesn't have BKB. Lesh is going Shivas instead, which isn't awful, but... I don't know how the Lesh expects to survive fights without BKB. It's pretty difficult. The armor's nice. But maybe he like keeps the plate mail and goes BKB or something. I don't know. Because like Jeez. at least if you go BKB, the Queen of Pain's not gonna do anything to you. Radiance bottom tower. James was under right under the nose of JT with that shadow blade. He's going into the BKB next. Underward, meanwhile, Vanguard Four Staff Pipe. He's sitting uh, just at 11,000 net worth in front of JT, who is close to finishing off the BKB. But again, uh, you know, uh, like you say, it would have been nice if he had that Ags, and I, I think he has to go for it next, right? Oh, no, I think, he, I mean, he's committed for the BKB route. Like, One, he has the recipe. But no, I'm talking after. Dyer's top I don't know if the Ags is good afterwards, though. I think it's too late. Like the, the axe on voice, but it's so good if you get it early. Like, and you can have good game impact with it. Which is why I thought he'd go for before, the, like instead of Deso. But I think he might end up like building Hex or something afterwards, so they actually have more catch for the Naga. But I don't know. Yeah, I'm still like I don't know what his game is supposed to be. It's it's so weird. Almost got the tier two over uh, bottom, and they lost their top tier two. So that means outpost is available. And they'll take it. Meanwhile, JT, 300 gold away from that BKB. TB going MKB like uh, you know, like we said he should, or well, like you know he he should. Let's be honest. But the BKB will be there for Ame and probably an earlier timing. I think okay. the BKB is really good because it stops the Lesh from just blowing him up, right? Like, the only thing that's stopping Arme from just staying in the fights and doing whatever he wants is, is this Lesh. So, even though Lesh. BKB, like, normally on Naga isn't great, I think it's it's super good this game. Like, Nyx, Lesh, Void Spirit. Lesh will at least have uh, a Shiva soon. So, you will see the, uh, the freezing aura heal reduction. I mean, XM has one as well on the Queen of Pain, though, right? So if they get the Scardi and the Sheevers onto the Oracle Heal target. Radiant are scanning. So, is, it, is it additive or multiplicative? It's multiplicative. So it's um, it's 40% from the um, Scardi, and then it's 25% of the remaining 60%. 
which is 15%, so it goes to 55% overall, which is still pretty good. You see that quick maths chat? Yeah. Sit down, right? <laughs> God, man. Oh, God. Oh, now, BKB is going to be popping. They've got the Sonic Wave that hits onto GT as well as Ollie. They have the Aether Remnant down, but the BKB has been popped by XM, so they get the kill onto the Oracle. Impale hits Naga Siren. Aether Remnant SRF's pulled in by it. And Five Five waiting in the trees, ready to go with the Metamorphosis, but they're not going to chase any further from CDC. Uh, you know, well done to not overstep their uh, them themselves, especially with BKB down on the Queen of Pain. No, it's going to be another bin. rush. Like, the thing is, like, could like go they in have on Song this. as... I mean, they have Song on Cedic though, right? So yeah. even if the fight goes badly here, they can just pop Song, finish the rush. Reflection, Metamorphosis, that comes through. Shiva's used, Song is down. Oh, it's too early. Yeah, that's what you really want to do by forcing the fight, is have the Song come out early. But is it early? It ends, right? As he picks up the Aegis, I thought it might end... Uh... Dark Rift? Oh my god. Radiance bottom tower. I thought it might end a, a little bit too soon, but in the end of the day, it's right on timing, and they get the Uber <laughs> out. Well, it was too soon, but then XM's like, oh my god, I have to get into the pit and finish this off, otherwise we're not getting it. <laughs> so he just fully commits. And, uh, yeah. Doing well. Because and the fact they don't lose fun. anything there Radiance is like insanely good. Yeah. On, uh, see that. Just a cooldown. And I love that um, XM is finding this Oracle first. It feels like every single time. Like, Ollie's really struggling to uh, ever have an impact in these fights. Yeah. I'm not really certain what Emo's going to do either. Like, it feels like he's very farmed, and he is. But at the same time, it, it just doesn't feel like he's being that effective. Radiant's top tower is under attack. It's really tough for Emo. Four staff was used by SRF, avoids JT. And JT will go for the Ags. They're going to bring the Naga Siren over bottom. Ame, he's got Song. And he uses it. Okay, they'll at least get JT at this. Or They're going to force they a BKB. should, yeah. yeah. He's still in the run. Does He's got he one more step, step now. He just got it. Like, oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Fissure as the BKB was running out. That would have been... Just straight anger, probably from JT. Yeah. Had he like got the hit BKB by was, that. The BKB was had ran out there. Like, yeah. oh my god, they get the grip top as well. Oh boy, emo in trouble. XM's here. Sonic wave, and the damage is done. The kill is not there just yet, but in the pit of malice with the fissure to follow it up, they finish him off. What a grip! That was attack. insane. They had the ward down on the high ground, so they see the lesh coming, and, and the, yeah, Bane's like, "Thank you very much." It's Victoria, right? Victoria's like, yeah, thank you very much. See you later. Fourteen thousand net worth lead right now, wire to wire for CDC, and it doesn't seem like it's gonna slow down. They need like the perfect fight on IG, but when you're getting picked off like that or having troubles like both JT and Emo have, it seems almost impossible to even try to for the perfect fight. Dyer's middle tower. Has hmm. uh, they're gonna have to find a way to go about this, and they've got Metamorphosis ready, but it has to be as five. Oh my god. Queen of Pain just loses all her mana, though. Ether Remnant hits the Queen of Pain. XM, he does have the cheese, but it's in the backpack. Uh, it's really difficult to go high ground here. Like, even though Leshy's dead. Because this, this Oracle's standing so far back now that you can't dive anymore. Like, XM can't just jump in. Mm -hmm. And Kaka playing Nyx, like, just sitting on this high ground is going to do so much work with the mana burns and things. You've got to, got to respect the high ground potential. I think you just take the tier 2 bot, start shoving the lanes out again. Or just keep building your lead that you have and try and take a fight outside of the base. Uh, sorry, outside of uh, IG's base. I hate to say it, Ben, but uh, at the moment, this, uh, this group thing that we were talking about before... <laughs> IG go 3-0, they're not they're not beating C-Deck at the moment. Not at the moment. It's not looking good. I mean, it's uh, enough of a problem for you to call me by my first name. Yeah. <laughs> That's when it gets serious. And they're going to try and smoke and wrap around. It's... 
you? It's half. Do you reckon people are bamboozled because they didn't realise that was your first name? Do you, reckon, uh, do you think maybe. that's it? I don't know. <laughs> it bamboozled me, I'll tell you that much. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> SRF in a perfect spot to break the smoke. Smoke just runs out regardless. But had he gotten caught, I think he's fine. He's got himself guarding Greaves' pipe and a force staff to get out. They're going to come over. Uh, Ame in the Shroud of Illusions. So to get the proper Naga Siren... It's going to be tough. They, they smoke to come all the way out and around, and now Emo's going to push over bottom. They kind of get an inkling of where the positioning is for IG, and, well, how are CDs going to play this? They don't have to fight, but they could. I mean, Roach, the Aegis is about to go down, so they have to be a little bit careful here. I like that Naga's going Abyssal, though, as well. They need a little bit more lockdown for this uh, Void Spirit, I think, especially. Just be able to kill him off quickly. And it's really good against, like, all three of the cores, so... I mean, Abyss was just a good item. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's probably the best way of saying it. But, I mean... It... They smoked again, and... At least this time within the Vendetta, now they'll have the Yules. They hit the stun, and they'll get the dust. But there's the big four from oh, XM. XM's Sonic 25. Kaka, as well as JT. And now a problem for the side of IG is they'll get the kill on James, but can they finish off XM? The false promise hits JT, oh, keeps him alive, and Queen of Pain... Blinking away. I mean, XM's level 25. Two. So he's just, he has the fear now. Like, and he's just jumping in and causing so much havoc. Because this, I mean, TB has BKB. He, does he doesn't want to pop it there, right? Like, it's just a, a small skirmish. I don't think it makes a difference anyway. I wonder if TB, this, uh, sorry, the cop, sorry, keeps that. Oh no, she's going, she's got Prince's knife. Okay. I guess it's Havoc Hammer for the Underlord. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised. But right now he's holding on to Vampire Fangs. Spell Prism. There, there you go. And Witless Shaco for IG. Spell Prisms. Um, yeah, he takes the Shaco on. Oh my god, Lesh is so tanky now. What just happened? Like, that Shaco is just insane. Oh my goodness. That's crazy, Again, actually. Is it, is it enough, though? Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I assume that's a ninja gear for one of the supports as well on the Radiant. I don't know, I think the Shaco makes him so much harder to kill. Like, he has 3,700 HP now. That could actually make a, a huge difference. They're going to go on the Bane here. Right, they'll get the kill on a Victoria. It's kind of pick off IG needed to slowly bring themselves back into the game. And, well... Can they do so? No Aegis, just cheese available on the Queen of Pain. But Queen of Pain, so confident, not even holding the cheese in the inventory, uh, has the bottle and has been keeping the yeah, bottle she, there. She wants to hold the DD for like a fight, so. Yeah. She'll wait to, until the fight's about to start, pop the DD, swap the cheese back in. She's actually going, is that AC? Oh, no, it's Bloodthorn. Right, okay. It's... I'd quite like to see her build the hex. I think the hex is really key. It's odd that this game kind of halted. Mm -hmm. Like they didn't get the high ground over mid and then it just slowed down. By the way, 25 oh. for Emo, he went to the Lightning Storm slow duration. Wait, what? Uh, yeah. Not the Diabolical Edict Explosions. I don't think I've ever seen this taken at 25 before. Oh, he has a voodoo mask, by the way, as well. That's insane. He was going into the Octarine core. I assume he's just still going to do it. Yeah, and they've got themselves the BKB pop by JT. Astro step forward, and now over to the side. Ame gets that song off, but how are oh, they going to no play BKB this out? Or Shaker James sitting on the back, and look at that. JT just dies. They had the Abyssal Blade. Emo moving forward. He's got a BKB of his own, oh, but bash. can they do enough? X amount of the back lines looking over at the Oracle. They've got the silence. Oh, the they're going to kill on Ollie. Now that Fiend's group comes through, on the Lashrak. Fly Fly trying to fight this. He needs to throw out some of these right clicks, and JT finds James. Do they have the damage to get the kill? High Fly. Nice Sunder, but Give still the Echo Slam from James onto Give JT, the and they'll get the kill onto Fly Fly. Take out Kaka as well. Four heroes gone. JT gets away with his second life, and GG will be called by IG giving CDC game one.
I think they really struggle on IG this game. They have no team fight at all. So like when these five on fives are breaking out, it's so difficult for them to ever like take these big engagements. Because like yeah, maybe they can lock like one person down with a Nick stun or like an Aether Remnant or something. But they have to like be so systematic with their team fight. It's so difficult to do. Like they have to move from one onto the other to the other. And when there's this Underlord just sitting at the front, like sitting between his team and the rest of them, and like your team, like you can't go on the Underlord first. Like they tried, but they just don't do enough. Like, and I, I think this Bane played insanely well too. Like, this grip comes out in like the whole BKB duration of the Lesh. And that's yeah. just like, oh, never mind. I, I, I actually think something. I actually think Victoria is my MVP that game. Played so well. Yeah. He had multiple grips that got Emo killed. Emo seemed like he was potentially becoming a force. But at the same time, too, like, James played a really good Earthshaker. I think the little bit of miscommunication between him and Ame on the song Echo was about it. But James, other than that, I think played it pretty clean. Like it, 